I enter myth time through the portal. An other world. One that is in this one. I thread myself in to these thin places and tune my voice to the spirit of the land. Everything is animate. Oh, great mystery, move and breathe and have your being. I'm walking what are the boundaries of the ancient Celtic kingdom of Dumnonia, which is Cornwall, Devon, parts of Somerset and Dorset. And I'm walking a round walk around the coast path and walking through all the stories from the smugglers' coves and the mermaids to the great big Arthurian epics and seeing what these stories have to say to our times and our lives. Really try and listen in and tune in to where I am, what's happening, what the birds are saying, which is the reason why this walk isn't a sort of A to B, uh, you know, get here as fast as I can, do as many miles a day. I'm, I'm taking my time so that I have the chance to uh, follow my instincts and stop when something happens and uh, just to find out what wants to be said by the land. There is mythic ground beneath our feet. And let what's sleeping come awake within our souls and the psyche of the earth. And if we be bards, speak out our prayers and poems to those living stones. If you can accept that mythic call to adventure, then I think you're on the right path. That's what I'm trying to do in my own small way, stumbling along, making my own mistakes as I do, but try to follow that call to adventure, stay true to it, follow it all the way, all these five, six, seven hundred miles, however far I've walked now. And the universe just brings you to this particular place to, to let you experience something which you can then hopefully convey in story and poetry. I carry a star to guide my way and hold the stories as I walk through them, from the mermaids to the legends of Arthur following in the footsteps of the giant Albion. So it's those wonderful little synchronicities. It's the things that you couldn't find out about beforehand. It's like the moment when you're looking for the border between Devon and Somerset and there's no great sign to announce. You don't know where it's going to be. All you know on the OS map is that there is this uh, place called Sisters Fountain and I stop and it's the most wonderful spring and as I'm there there's this wonderful moment where this beam of light comes down and touches the water and you think, wow, this is particularly special. You know, I, th I think poetically this is the border, this is the place where one county meets the other and only later reading in a, in a guidebook do I find out out that according to legend this is the place where Jesus and Joseph Arimathea arrived on their way to Glastonbury and uh, where the staff is plunged in the spring appears so they could the you know the thirsty travelers can drink and then William Blake puts pen to paper and uh, the poem and the song Jerusalem is born I recommend anybody to do this, to go myth walking, to go and connect with the land because it's out there. There's beauty that still exists that wants to engage with us. This isn't something that you have to work and work at to be a part of. I think participating is something that is open to all of us. You just need to step out, open your senses and, and listen.